Hey, Chris. How are you doing today? Oh, Mr. David. That's my favorite look of yours, by the way. I don't get to see you in the... It's my Steve Zizzo or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good luck. You know, it's, it's a just, good luck on you. It's a good luck, and I can also drive a boat legally. Yeah. I'm a captain of a ship. If Turns you out you can up. style your head, you know? There's no limitations on how you can style your head. But on the web, it turns out there's all kinds of weird limitations that you run into, isn't there? Massive limitations. And, you know, we've been talking about this kind of uh, yeah. sty styling form elements. We have a video on accent color, which is kind of like a cool way to, you know, yeah. pepper up your uh, forms. Link down below, as they say here on the YouTubes. But, right. Um, and I remember that one as being check boxes and radio buttons, which are known as like native form elements and right, Dave right, was right. all stoked because you could like change their size and change their colors and stuff without resorting to, you know, kind of pretty extreme hackery. We're like, Oh, make it a pseudo element and hide the original element and blah, 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 all that stuff. You can still do that. There's even ways to do it accessibly, but there's also ways to do it inaccessibly and really screw up the keyboard handling, screw up the focus states, screw up the discoverability of those form elements. Wouldn't it be great if we didn't have to do any of that stuff? It looks like you've got a select menu pulled up here. That's something yeah, we have. Yeah, so I thought. thought it would be fun to talk about yield select, right? This is actually one of the biggest... Uh, request uh, open UI did like a survey and um, one of the biggest requests was about styling custom selects right like this is a right. problem how much stuff would be like npm installed to like solve this problem Probably. yeah design systems t tend to have a replacement for it because they want it to stylistically look like the rest of the design system and um, and you can isn't it true that you can get you can get a decent amount of like what I might consider the outside of the style. Yeah, yeah. Styles. So yeah. there's like a really good post over on Filament Group, Styling uh, Select, like it's 2019, uh, <laughs> written in 2019. <laughs> but it, it's actually even kind of been updated a little bit, um, you know, depending on your browser support too. Native like there's one. a native. And then like you get some CSS and it can look like that. And I kind of pulled all that. I stole it. Sorry, Scott. Uh, but uh, class, like select CSS. So that menu there is going to all of a sudden be like boop and it's going to look so you've got a custom gradient there you've got a custom icon there you've got a custom font there so there it's is stuff that you can do data your right icon yeah you a know. big clutch thing is that you've turned the appearance off which is giving you then css control to to mess with it but okay i call it the outside though for a reason because now when you open it though it's going to look just almost exactly like yeah, the, the like the the font here is maybe a smidge bigger, you know, and, and I kind of was digging in and you can actually I didn't really know this, but you can like actually some properties go into these options, you know, like I can go background oh, option look pink, at that. and I can go but some don't padding, uh, whatever, five, four rim. Yeah, it would be big, right? Like massive. Just, no, nothing. Right. So and, you know, so some I bet that I, I, list is. A, inconsistent across browsers, and B, very opaque to authors. You know, like, what can you get away with and what you can't? Who, who knows? Yeah, I bet it's, like, literally five properties. So I don't really know. <laughs> somebody can I'll write bet less. Tell us. I'll bet less. Okay, somebody <laughs> over under on five. Uh, so, you know, that could be good or bad. Um, you know, I, I feel Still like – Still kind of cool. If that's all you care about, you could – that's fine, you know? Yeah, I feel like in my work, though, people are like, I want that to be on brand or whatever, you know? And so, yeah, the inside is what's not stylable. And isn't it because that comes from not the browser? That is like, it's it literally asks the operating system. For... Yeah, yeah. So, this is actually from the operating system. Like, we, we did a cut of this entire video. Sorry, breaking the fourth wall. We did this whole <laughs> video, and like, yeah. you couldn't see the select because I was only sharing the browser, right? And so, you couldn't see. Like yeah, it was hilarious. We ended up throwing about. the whole video away because it, it was dumb. So if this video seems amazing, it's because we practiced it. Because we've done it 400 times. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, but this is um, – so yeah, like this is like a system level thing, and like you like, uh, I'm, I'll try to like inspect it. You can't even like really inspect it, right? Because it's no, coming from it might even lie the to system. You. It'll like I can like go and like option, but how do I like go view the? You so know, there's like, some I'm user not... agent style sheet there. Oh, that's interesting to look at. Yeah, but you are really limited. Like, look at it. There's there's padding in the user agent style sheet, and we just proved that you can't change the padding. That's what I mean by lie. It's like, come on. Yeah. Like, anyway, I can't edit that. So anyhow, 
That so is that, so the developers around the world decide screw the select. I'm going to make capital S select and and maybe even make it with divs and stuff. Like there's so it's many probably got a lot of done ones that just are like screw it. I'm literally going to recreate this from absolute scratch just because I want to style not only the outside but the inside too. And maybe mm-hmm. I'm even going to add features and stuff. We're not going to necessarily talk about that so much, but we're just styling the inside. How? What, what's the? I mean, there's some kind of news here. We might as well get to the news. Well, yeah. yeah. That, so the news is the geniuses over at OpenUI, uh, and I think this is kind of a collab between Chrome and Microsoft. Uh, those sort of teams working on Chromium have an implementation in Chrome uh, uh, with experimental web platform features. Uh, Chromium, because you're Chromium, in Chromium. Yeah. Chromium. Uh, yeah, I'm in Edge right now. So, uh, but select, change it to select menu. And watch Weird. What Weird alert. Not Watch much. What happens. Oh yeah, that Look immediately at that. looks quite different. I mean, so, I'll tell you, I've seen this before, but it does. It looks like Chrome, not Mac OS. You know. Oh, and look, it's got the key bindings are exactly the same, right? Yep, keys it's are all focus working. Focus styles, and I can use arrows. I can use tab, and I can use enter to select. And don't discount that. That's what, I mean. I'm sure some plenty of design systems get it right. Right? They rewrite all the JavaScript code necessary to get the key bindings right, and the escape key right, and the enter key right, and all the keys that need to be right. Probably a lot of them don't, though. So right. It, yeah. <laughs> well, and and so and and also like remember how we were trying to style this, you know? Like I can do like I can just write CSS, and guess what? It all updates. okay. So that oh yeah, that's and, great. And like and it's just CSS. I can probably I don't know font style fantasy. Italic. Oh, Why? Yeah. oh yeah. Oh there you go. Yeah, font family. Fantasy. Oh, we are just fantasy. We are just. Uh, I like papyrus. See, this is like what you want from your forms, right? It's just a little it bit. It kind of, of is fant- that magic silly, and- but you want that control, and now you can do it with one line of CSS, not replacing the entire not thing. Not replacing it. And so, wouldn't it be cool because it's CSS? Look at this. I have a little here, so uh, that's a spoiler alert. We call that in the biz. But here we go. Logos. logos watch this um and then it's gonna oh my that. god background so, images on your background selects. images and i was messing with this you could even use like svgs in here but mm-hmm. as we were kind of talking earlier over on yeah uh, i mean you can put html in here yeah like i can do like i don't know h2 hello world <laughs> and like this maybe is gonna be a small element would maybe do, be... do not do this <laughs> you know or i guess the yeah. br didn't work because i have it in a flex box or something like that but like so like don't do this obviously but what's you know because what's weird about this but you know maybe these block level selects could happen i don't know but like so like yeah, that's a little weird. It looks it's, like it gets stripped in the in the value. Yeah, and if it was like super long, like you're typing a whole book in here, like your boss was like, I want to pitch every feature of the product, that would be like that would go bad in this situation. So yeah. but, but it just like, feel, it feels a little shoulder flexy to know that it, that you, you can do, get some action in there, you know. Pretty cool. Well, and in, in like having this here is is like pretty cool. Like this is like ninety percent of what yeah. I want, you know, and, and so 90%, I'm actually yeah. No like, search, but whatever. Yeah, um, you know, but you know, you can. Yeah, we. I was kind of messing around, like, like Chrome, or if I like, you know, when you type. <clears throat> excuse me. You know, when you type into like a select, it'll actually like find the first like one yeah. it finds. You I know? literally use that because I live in um, Oregon, so if it's a state dropdown, I always hit O because I don't. Want yeah, to, yeah. So that feature is like technically missing, I guess. Uh, so I, you know, I, I'd be well, curious. Well, it's if early it's, like, days, coming. right? You need a flag. So I am curious yeah. though, just for the for the peeps out here why select menu like isn't it a, a theoretical world in which you just be like oh we're just going to have the browser render this now we're just going to we're not going to invent a new element where it'll just be select do you have like any sense of why I, I um i think my understanding is like you know the, the whole thing about the web is you can't break compatibility right like well, you, yeah. you in you hope <laughs> um and so like chucking this into the native select would be just a little too much because this is now using dom to render things and people might have different expectations or whatever um as opposed to like the select which is like i'm going to use the system level drop down yeah 
Um, I have some know, kind of hunch that there's a bunch of CSS that like attempts to style select menus that isn't applying at the moment. That if you if you all of a sudden shipped this, all that CSS would start applying and kind of break the web in in weird ways. I, I imagine it's different enough that it would like explode some things. So yeah. I think like people probably want. Uh, I, I think it's different enough, you know, and you think about like, there's probably things like mobile Safari, which does the little, uh, Spinners. slot machine yeah. thing. That's probably going to need to change or be different. So, right. That's true. So. That maybe you, maybe you want that sometimes. And it's nice to have the option. So if you left it as select, you'd get that. And this would be more rendered by the browser kind of thing. Yeah. It seems smart to me. It does seem a little unprecedented to have like two HTML elements that, do the same thing although maybe i'm wrong about that but no you're right and but I, and i think it's kind of like i i think it, those things are, questions are being figured out so i, yeah. I think like it's, it's trying like to, this is rolling out tomorrow it's yeah no but i can also see a world and i was kind of like you know like you know if window whatever dot <laughs> what is it uh, select element? menu oh. element or whatever if like if it has the select menu element then maybe you can like upgrade your selects to the select menu i could see like oh. progressive enhancements and you know graceful yeah. degradations and stuff like that it does seem um, friendly to that because of how the internal html is literally zero different yeah yeah zero different unless like you went bonkers with html inside of here then oh, you're gonna sure. have to then you know and to be honest that's on you <laughs> like you have to <laughs> Yeah. You did the bad, not the platform. So personal you have to... responsibility. <laughs> That's how we'll solve it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So anyway, th I think like uh, anyway, this is just exciting. This is brand new. I think like a lot of people are going to get value for me. It again closes the gap, just like the accent color. It closes the gap on like what I need to style form elements in a interesting and exciting way. So yeah, it's freaking tremendous if you ask me this is like a big step forward for styleability of forms and and like you said it's not just us it's not just them it's it was based on i think i've seen multiple surveys that say this is it this is what we want mm -hmm. from, from oh. when you say styleable form elements you mostly mean this one yeah i mean this is state of css this is uh right. the web we want this is open ui like all these surveys point to the same thing like we need to do, be yeah. able to do this. And if this so. doesn't have everything you want, well, then too bad. <laughs> yeah, you just <laughs> you just graduated into roll your own land, you know. And yeah. hopefully, there's a new primitive that can help you get there easier. But but mm -hmm. you may you may have like just you know. But you know maybe hey Chris 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 yeah. can I tell you yeah. something? Yeah. Maybe right. something is like you have One like a, a div and it's like my selected or whatever selected option or whatever in in your like react app you know and and it's just like that like that echoes out and this is like hidden or something you know like there's there's so, so many like oh, there are ways options yeah. there's ways there's yeah. ways to kind of make it happen so. yeah i think that's kind of a nice way that the when these when you're replacing an element that it it still makes a select even mm -hmm. if it's hidden because then it behaves like forms behave as far as submission and stuff goes. So, yeah, even if you're replacing it, I think the best ones kind of like keep a secret select behind the scenes anyway. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, this is All cool. Right. Thanks for uh, showing me, dude. Yeah. I really I had not I had not seen this and it feels like a it's like quick, you know, like the fact that we're looking at it in a browser is pretty impressive if you ask me. Oh, I, yeah. Using it today. Like I'm using it in a browser. That's pretty cool. So. Yeah. All right, man. See ya. Bye.